If you're just using training mode to practice your combos or to see how minus your opponent's moves are or something, then you're using training mode wrong. Or at least that's what sounds exciting. In reality, you're not actually using it wrong, but you're also not using it to its full potential. If you want to train like a high-level player or like a pro, do this. Set yourself up either for drilling or for problem solving. Now, when you think of drilling, you might think of like exercising or routine. And you're actually pretty close. Drilling is the act of setting up two or more reactable situations that you'll have to deal with with a given character, and then practicing being able to deal with them with the right answer. And setting it up is actually really easy. Go to training mode and set the bot to do a playback recording. Have one of the recording slots be the bot jumping at you with some kind of jumping button like a jumping heavy punch or something. And then have the other recording slide be the bot whiffing a pretty common normal poke. Whatever happens to be quite popular for a given character. For example, Akuma stand medium kick, Ken stand heavy kick, or Kage forward heavy punch. And then you just practice reacting to these options. This is something a lot of people typically don't do because it's kind of esoteric. And while the strength of this seems immediately obvious, the real power of this comes in when you put together three or maybe even more character-specific options. For example, let's say you want to train against Mika. Against Mika, you can practice dealing with her slide, her drop kick, and regular jump-ins and dashes. Against characters like Seth, you can use this to train against stuff like checking heavy kick Tatsu, or you could just use this to train your basic fundamentals like checking dashes and anti-airing. It's a very strong kind of practice to be doing, but it's not the only kind and it's very heavily complemented by problem solving. Now, problem solving is something you're already more likely to be doing. Problem solving is effectively just taking anything that you're getting hit by or anything that you're losing to and figuring out the answer to it. Is Bison hitting you a lot with Devil's Reverse? Lab it. Do you not know how minus or plus something is? Lab it. Did you get hit with some weird setup and you don't know how to block it? Lab it. This one's pretty self-explanatory, and most of the time, to some degree, people are doing this already. But it is worth mentioning that when you're playing a match, you should try to pay attention to the things that you're losing to, even if you win the match. If you win super decisively and you only got hit by a couple of weird stray things, it's not that big of a deal. But if you lost or it was close, you should go into the lab immediately and figure out the answers to the stuff you were getting hit by. Now obviously just cause you lab it once doesn't mean it's going to work out for you all the time, but having the answers that work well against certain tools that characters have will make you far more consistent in those matchups. Your adjustments may take one or two real matches to finally come into play, but practicing them is still valuable. The point is just to keep at it until it works out. Once you start doing it in real matches, you won't go back to not doing it. A couple of commonly difficult things for people to properly deal with are things like Blanca Balls, Honda Headbutts, Bison's Devil Reverse, and correctly punishing Colleen's EX hands. If you're not sure where to start, try figuring out how to deal with those moves first. And then as you play, you'll find out stuff that you're weak to and you can go from there. And that's pretty much it. That is really all you need to know about how to use training mode more efficiently. As you grow, your ability to use these training tools will as well. And the more that you practice, the more success that you'll find in actual games. Additionally, there's sort of a comforting feeling knowing that even if you got beat by something, that you'll be able to find the answers immediately after, which helps prevent salt. So hopefully this works out better for you than it did for me. Good luck out there, and if this video was helpful, you know, consider subscribing. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I would appreciate it. Have a good one.